Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, this is the second tutorial for Codus Author, understanding the code. So, first let's start the strategy for strategy folder that I have told you in the first tutorial. The strategy dot solution folder in the Visual Studios. This one I have opened in Visual Studios two zero one two. So here you will get the solution explorer. So this contains the all the folders of the codes. So first one you have to navigate to game.hpp So you you will get game.hpp So double click it You will see the, the game.hpp So this is the main controlling file of the, of the event code is over. So in this I will tell you line by line The second one we have is this line Simulator Team Color Team color is called a simulator blue team. So, so this blue team denotes which team for for which team you are coding. So here you have two teams, blue and yellow team. So in this example, you are coding for blue team. So I have kept the team name as blue team. So for coding for the yellow team, just change it to yellow team. And the next entire thing will be implemented on the yellow robots. Okay. Now coming to next, this is the main function of this file game. Its parameters are belief state and it calls three roles attacker, defender, and goalkeeper. As you know, the code soccer event is of three robots, so we you need three roles. So we have already made three roles for you. The first one is the attacker, second is the defender, and the goalkeeper. You will see up two parameters are given: state and the a number. This number represents to which robot ID this skill or this role is being implemented. So currently the attacker code is implemented on second robot, the defender on the first, and the goalkeeper on the zeroth robot. So there are five enumerated at 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So let's tell you line by line. So this is the main game.hpp file. It contains three functions, attacker, defender, goalkeeper. It uses a state belief state. Okay. So first of all, a hint I am giving is that key for Anything that you don't understand in the code, just right click it, go to definition, there you will be linked to the definition of that particular keyword. So if that belief state is a class, so the definition of the belief state class is written here. So you need not to change this thing, this is predefined, you just need to use the use the parameters in the use in this particular class so let's understand what is a belief state what a belief state is a belief state is a world model of entire thing suppose when you move in a particular city your eye captures everything in front of you so you get the location of the buildings you get the location of the people around so you the ent the entire thing is mapped into your brain so it is stored somewhere so that this entire data is stored in belief state for example this is a simulator okay so in this simulator you, have, you see there are different robots okay so the position of all the robots the speed of all the robot the speed of the ball is stored in belief state so you just need to take these variables and code using it. So as you see here, uh, there are very there are variables up here. There are some bool type variables that is true or false, and some data types, the point two D, vector two D. So these are the data types, which, for example, vector two D float is a data type. It contains two parameters, x and y. So this home velocity, this is the array of home velocity. So you can get 
the velocity of let's say a bot id is zero so what you can do is that you can write home velocity the bot id is zero dot x gives you the x velocity and dot y gives you the y velocity similarly you have the home pause home pause gives the home position of the robot this gives the home angle the home angle of the robot away pause away pause gives the opponent robot position so instead of the home size you get away pause zero so the bot id currently you are in the blue team so the position of the zeroth bot id of the yellow team you can retrieve it using this this is the ball pause it gives the position of the robot of the sorry it gives the position of the ball so you can get the position of the ball like ball pause dot x so this point 2d vector 2d it can be retrieved using dot x and dot y so dot x gives the x velocity and dot y gives the y velocity also you have very predicates defined these are the true and false type predicates so pr up ball it tells you whether the ball is in the opposition or it's on your side if it's in the opponent side it will return a true value else it will return a false value similarly there are many predicates and the data types defined here so you can use any one of these okay and also the definition of these the vector 2d and the point 2d can be used at just right click it go to definition and in geometry.hpp file you will see the definition of this class vector 2d so you can get the definition here you need not have to change these codes okay next we have next move to the three roles the goalkeeper the defender and the attacker first let's understand the field scenario the field has as you here you can see that this is this is the field so you need to have the length of the field the length of the d box the length of the goal okay so for coding the strategy you need these parameters so these parameters are well defined in config.h okay in config.h these things are well defined r goal max y r goal min y these values are defined here so if you want to know the what's what the value of these it's pre-written in config.cpp okay so never ever touch this file just use it as a parameter to code it but do not change the value it will affect your code so this goal depth it's 393.73 it's pre-written and pre-computed so this that this is the goal depth so this goal depth is pre-computed as this so you just use need to use these as integer or float data type and just you need to use to code it so there are various other parameters as r goal max y r goal min y r goal width d box height okay bot radius ball radius so you can use these 